is another historic experiment. And this one also demonstrates that electrons have a particle-like nature. What we have is a high voltage supply, and this is pulling electrons from the cathode across to the anode. But what we have in the way is a phosphorescent screen, so that when the electrons hit it, the electrons in the atoms of the screen are excited to a higher energy level, and as they drop down, they give out a glowing, beam, glowing light. So because the screen is slightly curved towards you, you will see a line of glow across there showing where the electrons are hitting it. This is what I'm going to do then is apply um, a magnetic field and you can have a look at the interactions between the electron flow and the magnetic field. So this is very much like Thomson's experiment except that it's not quantitative. It's just demonstrating the interaction of an electric and a magnetic field. So if we turn the high voltage on, you can hear, hang on, I'll just, that's perhaps going a little bit too much. I'll just pull those a bit further apart. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We've got the occasional discharge across there, but we are definitely getting a beam of electrons across here. I'll turn the light off so you can see what's going on a bit better. So we have our beam of electrons coming across. And if I put a magnetic field anywhere near it, it should have an effect by making the electrons move within the field. Put it at the back, we can see that it changes the path the front. So therefore, these must be particles. If they were waves, the, elect the magnetic field shouldn't have an effect on them. They have to be particles, charged particles, moving in an electric field. So this is another indication that electrons have a particle-like nature. <laughs> 